Yo, what's going on everybody? In this video, we're going to be creating an interactive quiz game using C programming. Utilizing 2D arrays, we'll be asking some questions and displaying options. A user can type in a guess. If they get a correct guess, they get a point. Then at the end, we'll display the total points. This video is for beginners. And well, let's get started. All right, everybody, let's create a quiz game. We'll start by creating an array of strings to hold all of our questions. This will be a 2D array of characters which we will name questions to hold our questions. If this is a 2D array, we need two sets of indices. We do have to place a size within the second set of straight brackets. We'll say that each question can hold 100 characters, but feel free to increase this. We're going to set this equal to and close all of our questions within a set of curly braces. Each question has to be comma separated. Let's think of a question to ask for our quiz game. My quiz game is going to be astronomy related. My first question will be, what is the largest planet in the solar system? All right, we have one question currently. We'll add a few more, but now we need the options. Char options. This is a 2D array. We'll set the size to be 100 for 100 characters equals, then within curly braces, add a string. Within the string, we'll list the different options that a user can guess. A will be Jupiter. Rather than placing each option within a new string, kind of like this, we'll say Saturn is B. Well, we would end up needing a 3D array, and that's going to get really complicated. With these separate strings, let's instead combine them and separate them with the new line character when displaying them. Option C will be Uranus. Option D will be Neptune. Let's see what these look like currently. For testing purposes, let's print questions at index zero. We're displaying a string. We're displaying questions at index zero. Here's my question. What is the largest planet in the solar system? Then we need our options. I'm going to print a string. We'll display options at index zero. Options, index zero. And then we need a new line. Let's see what we have currently. What is the largest planet in the solar system? We have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and it looks like I need to fix some of the spacing right there. This is all one long string, but since I'm adding new line characters between each option, think of it like it's unfolding when we display it. I'm doing it this way so we avoid making a 3D array. Then we need an answer key. This will be a one dimensional array of characters. Char answer key, and it's an array equals within curly braces, list the letter that corresponds to the correct answer. The largest planet in the solar system is A, Jupiter. The first character in this array will be a capital A. Let's display the answer just to test it. Of course, we won't display it when the quiz game is done. We're displaying a character. We'll display our answer key at index zero. And that should be an A. But I do need a new line character when displaying it. Let's display a new line. What is the largest planet in the solar system? That is A, Jupiter. But let's hide that, because we don't want to display the answer. We were just testing it. OK, let's add some more questions. That's our first question. Each question is going to be comma separated. I'll place the next question on a new line, just to help with readability. My next question, although feel free to pick different questions, is what is the hottest planet. Then we need another set of options. Each string is comma separated. And I'll place it on a new line for readability. A will be Mercury. New line. B will be Venus. New line. C will be Earth. New line. D will be Mars. What is the hottest planet? That would be Venus. 
there's a greenhouse effect on Venus. Within our answer key, the correct character is going to be a capital B for Venus. Let's display it all to test it. Questions at index one, options at index one, answer key at index one. And this is a character. What is the hottest planet? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. And that is B, Venus. Let's add another question. Again, each question is comma separated. What planet has the most moons? We need another set of options. A will be Earth, New Line, B, Mars, New Line, C, Jupiter, New Line, D, Saturn. As of March 2025, NASA confirmed that there's 128 new moons orbiting Saturn, bringing the total to 274, but it used to be Jupiter for quite a while. As long as new moons aren't discovered after the filming of this video, Saturn currently has the most moons. Let's test our output. We're displaying questions, options, and our answer key at index 2. What planet has the most moons? Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. And that is currently Saturn. Let's add one more question. This last question for me is going to be a joke, but feel free to put something serious in. I'm going to ask as a joke, is the Earth flat? I'll add another set of options. A will be yes, new line. B will be no, new line. C will be maybe. And D will be sometimes. Again, this is a joke question. The last time I checked, the Earth is not flat. The answer is no, B. Let's display the question, the options, and the answer. Index 3. Is the Earth flat? Yes, no, maybe, sometimes. The answer is B. All right, we have our questions, we have our options, and our answer key. Using this 2D array of questions, we're going to determine the size. I'm going to name this variable question count. It's going to be an integer. Question count. We'll get the size of our questions array divided by the size of one of its elements. Questions at index zero. This is going to return the amount of questions we have, the size of our array. Currently it's four because we have four elements within this 2D array. We'll need a character to hold our guess. Char guess. I'll assign this a null terminator right away. Then an integer of score to hold our score. I'll set that to be zero. All right, let's print a title for our quiz game. We can say something like this. Quiz game. Then we need a for loop. We need a for loop to cycle for as many questions as we have. And we've calculated that. Currently question count is four because there's four elements within this array. We'll write a for loop. For int i, set that equal to zero, will continue while i is less than our question count variable. Currently it's four. Increment i by one. During each cycle, really we can copy these printf statements and paste them. Replace the index with i, and we are not going to display the answer. Let's do a test run. We're not accepting user input yet. We should display all the questions and the answer. Looks like I need a new line character here too. We should display all the questions and all the answers. What is the largest planet? What is the hottest planet? What planet has the most moons? Is the Earth flat? And I think I'm just going to add a new line after each question. Let's do so here before displaying the options. 
Eh, let's add another. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we need to accept some user input within the loop. We'll create a prompt. Printf. Enter your choice, colon, space. We'll use scanf to get some user input. We're accepting a character, but there's going to be a new line character within the input buffer. By adding a space, we can ignore it. We'll insert a value at the address of our guess variable. I think I'm just going to add a new line character before displaying enter your choice. Quiz game, what is the largest planet in the solar system? Here are the options. We should be able to enter in one option. I'll say A, the next question B, C, D. Looks like our user input is working. Now we have to determine if we have the correct answer. Within the for loop, we'll write an if statement. If our guess, our character that we type in, is equal to our answer key, where is it? There it is. Answer key at index of i. If these two characters match, whatever we guess, and the corresponding character within the answer key, then we will print correct. Then I'll add a new line. We'll also increment our score by one, score plus plus. At first it's zero. Else, if our guess doesn't match the character within our answer key, we'll print wrong. Wrong. And we will not increment the score. Let's do a test run. What is the largest planet? I'll say A, Jupiter. Correct. What is the hottest planet? I'll get this one wrong. I'll say Earth. C. Wrong. What planet has the most moons? D, Saturn. Is the Earth flat? I'll say yes. A. Wrong. Okay, then we just have to display a final score. Outside of the for loop, we'll print something like this. I'll add a new line. Your score is... We're going to insert our score. It's an integer. Out of... Insert the number of questions. It's also an integer. The word points. New line. We're displaying two variables. Our score and the number of questions. Our question count. All right, one last thing. Let's do a test run. What is the largest planet? A, B, C, D. Your score is two out of four points. I've gotten two questions right out of four. Now, one thing to consider, the answers are all uppercase. What if I type in some lowercase characters? A, B, C, D. Well, they're all wrong. That's because with our answer key, we've listed these characters as uppercase characters. A lowercase version is not going to equal an uppercase version. Why don't we do this? After accepting our user input, let's convert it to be uppercase. There's a function that can help us with that. But we need the following import. Include this file. Include c type.h This will provide us with a function named to upper. After accepting our guess, we're going to reassign it. Call the to upper function and pass in our guess. If we're passing in, let's say, a lowercase a, this is going to return an uppercase a. Now our lowercase answers should be valid, because with this line of code, we're going to convert them to be uppercase before examining them. And here's the final product. What is the largest planet in the solar system? I'll say A for Jupiter. Correct. And notice that I did type in a lowercase a, and that's still correct. What is the hottest planet? B, Venus. Correct. What planet has the most moons? Currently, it's Saturn, D. Correct. Is the Earth flat? Hmm, sometimes it's flat. D. Wrong. 
your score is three out of four points. All right, everybody, that is a beginner's quiz game that you can write using C.